What's going on YouTube? GS no right here. In today's video I have some good news for those of you waiting for a chill break. The iOS update released by Apple does contain some important stuff, especially for jailbreak purposes. This video is brought to you by Tenorshare for you key, which allows you to reset your device if you forgot your screen passcode. It also works with screen time passcode and also MDM. The program is pretty simple to use and can be found on the Tenorshare website, available for both Windows and Mac OS. So if you forgot your passcode or your kid accidentally set one, you can check this program out, a free trial is available. They also currently have a giveaway slash contest where they are basically giving away the new iPhone 14 once it gets released. Essentially to participate all you have to do is to go here to this website and press the charge now button over here. So definitely check it out in the link below. Alright so as you probably know iOS 15.6.1 is out and 15.6 is no longer signed. However 15.6 does have some important stuff. According to Apple security content over here which was published back on August 17 but somehow got under the radar. There is a kernel vulnerability in here. This is actually a pretty short security patch log and it only patches two vulnerabilities, the kernel one and the WebKit one. Now the kernel one seems to be extremely powerful. They see here an application may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges which is good, especially for us jailbreakers. And it says Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been actively exploited, which is not good, because it means that this might have been used to target people before, which is a bad thing. Now, this vulnerability has been patched on 15.6.1, but since it's a kernel vulnerability, we can use it for jailbreak purposes like Uncover, Torin, Chaos, and stuff like that. Now, the WebKit one is also interesting, but I do not see any WebKit jailbreaks being made lately, so it's probably probably not that important. However, it is powerful and they also say that Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been actively exploited, which is not good either. So if you care about the security of your device rather than jailbreaks and stuff like that, definitely update the 15.6.1 to patch those two. Nasty vulnerabilities over here, pretty bad, especially since they've been used in the wild. But if you're waiting for a jailbreak, that's actually a godsend because this kernel vulnerability is not something to play with. It's pretty powerful otherwise Apple wouldn't have pushed an update just to patch those two. They would have patched it in a later update with more vulnerabilities. But nope, they pushed an update to patch only these two vulnerabilities, which means there was pressure on Apple. And the pressure came from the fact that they were actively exploited. Now for those interested in jailbreaking, that's pretty good news, because those can be used for Uncovered, Torin, Chaos, and so on. But another thing that is coming soon is basically from the Objective by the Sea. If you remember I talked about this a couple of weeks ago, Linus Hensey will present Fogu 15, which will definitely work up to 15.4.1 and possibly even 15.5 beta. And this is taking place between October the 6th to October the 7th. So pretty soon, in about a month or so, which is not that bad. And that is actually quite nice because Fogu 14 was actually used in Uncovered to make an untethered Uncover for iOS 14. Now the Fogu 15 I assume is going to be as powerful and they seem to be targeting newer devices because they mention here PAC, which is pointer and codes, which is only available on 8, 12 and newer devices. So this is going to target the iPhone XS, XS Max, 11, 12, 13, which is exactly what we need. So yes, pretty good news, this is fastly approaching, but also pretty good news from Apple. Those vulnerabilities are definitely interesting, but if you want to secure your device and if you don't care about jailbreaking, do update, it's the safer way. So yeah, that's basically it, thank you for watching, you can check out which iOS versions are signed here on my website on the iOS signing status. Until the next time, do not forget to check out Tenor share for you key and of course their giveaway. Maybe you get lucky and win the brand new iPhone 14. Their giveaway runs between 24th of August to 15th of September so you still have time to do this. All the rules are available over here and the prizes that are currently available. You can get coupons, you can get Amazon gift cards. So yeah, definitely check it out. The terms and conditions are available over here if you want to check them out. So uh, thank you for watching. I'm Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.